Hi, Toby here. Today I talk about 3D object generation with AI. I'm using Confi UI and this GeForceR model GitHub repo. You can clone Node, you could also call it, uh, to generate a 3D object from a 2D image. So uh, I have Confi UI installed, uh, cloned the custom node, and uh, I got all the dependencies up and running, I downloaded the model into the right folder, I also renamed it and I restarted Comfy UI. I downloaded the workflow and I used the remove background workflow and yeah, open it up here in Comfy UI and that's how it looks like when you yeah, load it. Uh, example image, I'm using the same one from the repository. And this is the flow, it's pretty simple. So here I renamed my checkpoint, uh, just choose the, the right uh, checkpoint for the model. It's called model checkpoint, but then you don't know what uh, checkpoints you're dealing with when you have several of them, that's why I renamed them. Um, here this is the model for the background removal and yeah, uh, connect it to the sampler and hopefully show a 3D model at the end of the day, that's the plan. So I hit Q prompt and it's uh, creating the 3D object. No, it's uh, throwing this error, that's why I'm <laughs> casting this video, right? So what to do to fix this error? You can look up the issue and find out that it's a problem with the color space of the image. So to see what's going on, I double click into the workspace and add a preview bridge for the background removed image. And then I just reroute the background removed image and yeah, plug in this preview bridge. And now we look at it, what's going on. So the body seems to be wrong. Maybe we can change that. And uh, I found out that if I just um, change it to the lightweight model. In the case of this image, it's uh, getting uh, background removed uh, quite good. So I uh, uh, use uh, that um, removal model for this workflow. At least for this image, I uh, want to probably play around for other images. And, um, but still we, we got this um, color space issue. So what, what I do here is I first remove the mask. Oops. And connect it again. It's still there. And now what we can also do is we can use the mask and connect it once to the preview image. And use the mask on the preview image. And I found out if I run that once. It's fine and it's running through, but yeah, still I get no 3D object visualized. And it turned out that the viewer currently, in the current version as of uh, mid-November 24, it uh, seems to be broken. So uh, we have the save option for the people SR as well. And I just uh, save node, not option, I use the save node and connect it with a mesh. And then when we run it again, we see, well, great, there's some, something rendering, but it's not uh, the, the right uh, mask yet. So now when I found out, when I connect the mask back now, after having it once set to um, the bridge preview, prompt again. I get the desired output and the image is rendered correctly. So this is probably uh, a bug and uh, might be fixed in the future but for now we can go with the flow like that and uh, yeah, I hope you find it helpful and uh, give me a like and uh, be my first subscriber and such. So yeah, thank you. Goodbye.